Hi. Uh, the camera, this battery died, so I'll go back a little bit. I'm not going to read uh, from the beginning. If you want to see part two, go ahead. But this will be part three. Part two is going to be very, is very short because the camera died. But I charged the battery up and I'll continue to go as long as the battery works. And by that time it'll be dark out. Uh, it's getting dark. So anyway, when I read my words, I'll read this side of my face. When I use the Muslims, I'll use that side. And anyway, I call this video series, Oh Muslim, what are the lamps if they are not stars? So anyway, continue here. I'll continue here. Okay. Did you know that Surah 96 used to be titled The Clot? Due to Muhammad teaching that we as embryos go through a 40-day blood clot stage as embryos. Uh, yeah. yeah, as embryos we go through a 40-day blood clot stage. But <clears throat> that Surah 96 is now called the clinging leech-like substance. How much you want to bet that it will be changed again to the ball of dividing cells? <clears throat> Being that that is what an embryo truly is and never a blood clot. And yet, not even for 40 seconds. Uh, besides, you still haven't... Uh, but up anything to support this statement, leading me to further to believe you're lying. Well, since the change in the Quran is not going to bother you, <clears throat> that it goes against, quote, no one can change all his words. Why should I bot? Why should it now even bother? You know, showing that uh, that the Quran has been changed. Why should I bother to present to you any J. Smith, Shabir Ali, uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab videos? For you, you know, why? Allah will most likely not go against his own passwords. There's nothing that can make God regret what he said. He sees the past and the future. If so, then Allah is more deceptive than Allah boasts of, for it would mean Allah knows that the sky is not an object that can fall on you, and that meteors burning up the Earth's atmosphere aren't literal stars used as missiles against the Satan, or the Shaitan. Yet Allah lies and says such things in its book, the Quran, the clear signs. You know? Also, the Quran never claims the sky is an object. Your propaganda is getting boring. And then he shows me some video where, uh, why does the Quran claim the sky can fall on people's heads? And I look at it and I say this: as long as the Quran uh, change, as long as the Quran changes, did not, as long as the Quran ch uh, charges, wait, changed what? As long as the Quran changes, did not involve the scientific sign presented in the Quran. What? Oh, excuse me, that's what he said. He said this, he said this. As long as Quranic changes did not involve the scientific signs in the Quran. And I say this. Did you know that it's not just Sir 96, the clot, that has changed? There was a time the Quran taught that the earth was spread out like a carpet. Now it's shaped like an ostrich egg. How much you want to bet that someday Muslims will get it right and say the earth is shaped like the moon, which is round, or shaped like a turtle egg, which would uh, be truly round as well. Then it does not bother me that, then it does not bother me what was changed. So, someday, when the Quran says the sky runs to a resting place to set the money spring, and it's changed to the earth rotates and makes it look like the sun is setting in a mud spring, you won't have a problem with that. Okay. Hey, I'm glad I didn't waste my time bringing proof of how the Quran has changed in diacritical marks. Diacritic mark, diacritical, diacritic marks, etc. The signs will still prove the legitimacy of is the, the legitimacy of Islam, and nothing can change that. What signs in the Quran do you see as legitimacy? Provide just one, okay? Just one. And he says, first of all, Allah speaks in math. 
such as second of all Satan and all related and all relating to jinn etc in the unseen nothing we can ever see or prove God speaks in math <clears throat> really so when the Quran says that it takes 50,000 years for the angels and the spirit Holy Spirit Jibril to ascend to Allah well what does that mean to you doesn't that mean that since Jibril was squeezing Mo Muhammad every time he said he couldn't read in the cave uh, he, that Mo is that Jibril still traveling up to Allah for another 48,000 more years at least think please also the Quran never claimed the sky is an object your propaganda is getting boring and he presents another uh, scripture uh, he presents another he presents a uh, a video called uh, why does the Quran claim the sky is, can fall up, up on people's heads which again I say this he's presented it twice now if the sky can fall on you if not held up by Allah how can it not be an object think please it seems you haven't read my post message or read the Quran page I sent you I did the Quran says that if an infidel that if I an infidel saw a part of the sky fall I'd say clouds heaped up you think I'd say that the Quran sa also says that the sky is a canopy without cracks in it you think all it needs to say that when we know it's not an object or ceiling now uh, think please and he presents this Korah thing to me called why does the Quran claim the sky can fall on people's heads which yeah and he says this and this then do they not look at what is before them and what is behind them of the heaven and earth if we should will we could cause the earth to swallow them or could could is added swallow them or let fall upon them fragments from the sky indeed in that is a sign for every servant turning back to Allah which scripture is that did you see the scriptures I posted from the Quran about the sky being something that can crack and fall think please yeah that present Quran verse uh, Quran surah 52 verse 44 Sahih so International. And if they were to see a fragment from the sky falling, they would say, It is it is merely yeah, this is Quran fifty two verse forty this is Quran Surah fifty two, that's chapter fifty two, verse forty four. It goes this goes this way. <clears throat> and if they were to see a, fra a fragment from the sky falling, they would say, Clouds heaped up. Do do I say that if I see a meteorite, a meteor burning up the Earth's atmosphere? Think, please. This is the Pickful version of that scripture. And if they were to see a fragment of the, the heaven falling, they would say a heap of clouds. You think so? Really? Yusuf Ali says this. Were they to see a piece of the sky falling on them, they would only say clouds gathered in heaps. No, I would say, what? The sky is an object that is breaking up? that's what I'd say here's what Shakir says and if they should see a portion of the heaven coming down they would say piled up clouds no I would not say that at all besides it does it doesn't besides if it does mean meteorites or meteors you think meteors are piled up clouds think please Muhammad Sarwar says this even if they were to see a part of the heaven falling down upon them, they would say, it is only dense clouds. Really? I would say that? <clears throat> Muslim Khan said, in his version of the Quran in English, says, and if they were to see a piece of the heavens falling down, they would say, clouds gathered in heaps. No, I'd say, what? The sky is a canopy that is breaking up. That's what I would say. Arbery says this in his English version of the Quran. Even if they saw lumps falling from heaven, they would say, a mass cloud. Lumps falling from heaven? Lumps? That's not what I would say in Arabic. Here's what I'd say in, in 
Arabic, and I put the Arabic here. Uh, the translation, this is, yeah, okay. And if they were to see a portion from the sky falling, they will say, clouds heaped up. Now, if I saw a portion of the sky falling, I'd say, what? The sky is an object that can crack and fall on you? That's what I would say. No mention, I would not mention anything about lumps or, 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 or clouds heaped up. I wouldn't say that at all. Fragments of sky, meaning meteorites, etc. You wish it means that. But according to the Quran, if I, an infidel, see a part of the sky falling, I won't say meteorites. I'll say merely clouds. You think I'll say merely clouds or, or clouds heaped up? Should I see a meteorite and not the sky literally falling? Think, please. Okay, now take the thing apart. <clears throat> Who made the earth for you a carpet? And the sky is a structure. And since down from the, this is this is Quran two verse twenty two. Who made the sky for you? Who made the, who made the earth for you a carpet? And the sky, a structure. And since down from the sky water, and, and then brought forth where thereby some fruits as provision for you to make not equals to God. And you know. And what God sent down of water from the sky, uh, then gave life thereby to the earth after its death. That's Quran 2, 164. Uh, those who repudiate our proofs and are proud towards them, for them the gates of the sky will not be opened, nor will they enter the garden anymore. In other words, the sky has gates. And there it's again, it's it's like a, you know, something, you know. And we sat to the sky in constellations and made fair. The, I, you know, this, I'm not going to bother reading this because it's not good. Yeah. Or, I do like this one. This is Cran 1792. It says this. Or thou cause the sky to fall. Or thou, yeah, cause the sky to fall. As though, as you has claimed. Upon us in pieces. That's Quran 1793. Why should it say like why should why should anyone write that if they don't think the sky is an object? You know what I mean? Or they should cause the sky to fall, or thou hast claimed, or you have claimed. Upon us in pieces. <laughs> and we made the sky a roof protected. A protected roof. And they are disinclined towards its proofs 21 32 the day will roll the day will roll up uh, will roll up the sky like the rolling up of a scroll for the laws as we began the first creation we will repeat it a promise upon us we are to do it and the day the sky with the clouds are rent asunder rent asunder and the angels are set down in succession it's Quran 25, 25. Blessed is he who has made the sky constellations and made thereon a torch and an illuminating moon. Quran 65, Quran 25, verse 61. Oh, I like this one. This is Quran 34, verse 9. Have they not considered what is at their time and, and what following them or the sky and the earth? If we will make the earth swallow them or pieces of the sky to fall upon them is in that in what in that is proof for their for every repentant servant pieces of the sky to fall upon them mm. and we created not the sky and the earth and what is between them in vain that is the assumption of those who are different to warning and woe to those who are, okay uh, all right here's this one the earth is fixed yeah God is it who made who who made uh, for you the earth a fixed lodging. The sky is a structure, and the sky a structure, and fashioned you and made okay yeah. Okay. Uh, Quran twenty five twenty five. So wait for thou the day the sky will bring obvious smoke, covering the people. This is a painful punishment. How is this? How is this little gem? This is Quran 50, verse 6. 
Have they not looked at the sky above them, how we constructed it and made it fair, and there are no gaps therein? In other words, in other words there's no cracks in it. That makes it sound like it's a rough to me, a ceiling, an object. How can it not be, you know? Uh, the day the sky will be utterly shaken. The day the sky will be utterly shaken. How can, you know, the whole universe is going to be shaken? Hmm. Okay. The sky, he raised it. <laughs> he raised it. That's Quran 55, verse 7. And when the sky is rent asunder and becomes rosy like oil, then which shall the blessing... Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, how will you be in prudent fear, if you deny, of a day which will make the children white-haired, wherein the sky will crack open? See? Crack open. It's an object. And when the writings are spread, and when the sky is removed, and when hell is a set ablaze, I thought hell was already a set ablaze, and when the garden is brought near, a soul. Yeah. When the sky cracks, the sky cracks. This is Quran 82, verse 1 through 5. When the sky cracks, and when the stars scatter, and when the seas are poured out, and when the graves are strewn, a soul will know that it's sent ahead and, be, and left behind. And here's some YouTube video. Wrong again. Oh, I've got to stop it here.